The all girls Catholic school in the city of St. Louis will see its legacy continue. News 4 has obtained the plan to keep Rosati Kane High School open and now independent. And if you remember just months ago, the St. Louis Archdiocese decided to shut Rosati Kane at the end of the year. And News 4's Caroline Hacker is live now at Central West End School hearing about their fresh start there. Caroline. Well, Rosati Kane, guys, is home to just under 200 students, which is why the girls tell me it really feels like a family. But that family threatened by this potential closure, sending these students, their parents, and staff all scrambling to find a solution, and they have. <laughs> students at Rosati Kane have a lot to celebrate. After a group of alums and parent volunteers helped ensure the 112 year old school will keep its doors open. The first time I heard it, when it was closing, I was in denial. So when I heard we were opening, I was like, are we? And then it was like, we are. And I was like, okay, yes, so exciting. September's announcement from the Archdiocese came as a shock to the school, leaving students and teachers unsure of what was to come. Uh. I was in tears. It was so bad. As their future remained in limbo, many of the girls began looking at other high schools to attend next fall. But the thing about that is it made me realize how special Rosati Kane is and how I wasn't going to get the experience that I got at Rosati Kane anywhere else. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, the school was finalizing its new Catholic sponsorship through the St. Joseph Educational Ministries. Beginning in July, the school will become Rosati Kane Academy. For me, I didn't want to be in a space where there was no option for my daughters. There was no option for the young women in this community to come to a place like Rosati Kane where everyone feels like they can be themselves, no one is friendless, and people can truly find who they want to be. The school is in the middle of a fundraising campaign, already reaching 65% of its goal for next school year. Recruitment will become a major priority, declining 31% over the last 10 years. For seniors like Anya Caldwell, her final semester just got a little less stressful. I'm extremely happy because we now have our school and we get to have people being able to have those friends because it's open and I'm so happy. Now to make sure the school stays successful operating independently, they've put a new leadership team in place to work with administrators currently at the school guys to ensure there is a smooth transition come next school year. We're live in the Central West End. Caroline Hecker, News 4. And a lot of happy girls there, Caroline. Thank you. Now a story you're